Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Special number 156, recorded April 30th, 2013. The Galaxy S4 unboxing. There we go. And I'll pull this out of here and get this out of the way. Well, I guess we're just going to have to see it. So I do. It's a wood grain box. Now, I don't know if this is this traditional, if this is the box you'll get or if this is some sort of review unit. This is from AT&T. It's the 16 gigabyte version. Same I ordered. Now, what I ordered, I, I ordered from an unlocked 8-core. So there are different ones. This is the quad core that uh, AT&T is selling. It's 1.9 gigahertz quad core. Like the HTC One, it's got uh, the uh, IR blaster built in, which is very cool. 13 megapixel camera, uh, very interesting. And uh, the advantage, a couple of advantages the S4 already has at it before it even comes out of the box uh, is it's going to be using Jelly Bean 4.2. So it's the latest, currently the latest, until at least Google I.O., the latest uh, Android. And uh, removable battery and uh, the ability to add an SD chip, SD card. Uh, boy, that does look so much. Holy cow. Wish I had my Galaxy Note. It looks so much like the Note or the Galaxy S3. Uh, it is immediately you feel a little bit more square on the side. Uh, and, of course, the bezel's thinner, so that's how we get a 5-inch screen out of a phone that is actually, I believe, slightly smaller than the, um, than the uh, S3. Let's pry off the back. It's one of the nice features. Um I always buy extra batteries when I get Galaxy phones. There's the SIM card. already has a SIM card in it. That's good, an SD card. So we're ready to go. And I will hope the battery has slightly charged as we power on for the first time. Before we do that, let's just quickly see what else is in the box, shall we? It's probably the usual. Oh, there's a Galaxy Note. Note 1. So um, bigger screen on the Note. I got my one. Oh, okay. Did you buy one? Uh, no, I borrowed one from Shannon. Okay. We have more ones? Yeah. How many ones did we get? I don't know, three or four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I doubt we'll get that many uh, S4s. Uh, now you have nothing to lose. Upgrade to the Galaxy S4 and move over your content with Samsung Smart Switch. HTC that says that too, where it just copies the data over. I guess we're doing that more and more. An actual manual. Wow. You, you don't see those. You don't see those much anymore. White headphones, the charger. Let's just look uh, real quickly. One thing I always uh, like to know on the charger is how uh, many watts it is, because that's going to be the amount of watts that uh, uh, Samsung will want you to have. And uh, this is... I'm trying to read this. Looks like one... V Two amps. Wow. So this is a 10 watt. Yeah, five volts by two amps. So this is a, a 10 watt charger. That's a that's a heavy duty uh, charger. That's the kind that you you came with the iPad. That's interesting. I think I think I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, it looks like 2.0 amps. Five volts, 2.0 amps. Wow. So that tells you something, and that's what I think that's what you're seeing nowadays. Uh, the um, HTC One comes with a five watt charger. Um, you just, you need a lot of juice. And, the, and by the way, it takes a while to charge that. Samsung's doing interesting things with the charging uh, curve, too. Charges very fast initially. And there's the screen. That looks crystal clear. Wow. Let's just compare it real quickly to the size of the uh, one. Oops. Now, I have the one's uh, brightness turned down, so let's turn the backlight all the way up here briefly so we can compare. What? No, you don't see it? Oh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> so we're doing the first-time setup on the Galaxy S4. Fairly similar uh, size phones. They feel about, you know, the same. Slightly more rounded on the... Uh, 
S4. Okay, and I'm going to just quickly log into my Google account on here, so I'll just hide this briefly from you. Dee, 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 dee. Very familiar Samsung uh, keyboard, of course. I have to enter it twice because, unfortunately, I use because I use a second factor authentication. I have to enter it once, the password once, and then it goes, oh, oh, you need to go to the website to log in because you use two factor authentication. And so I have to actually enter it twice, which is extremely annoying. Uh, and also, especially if you do it wrong the first time. So that'll be three times. Don't show my uh, don't show my password. Just show me for a while here. I'll tell you when to shift back. I'm putting it on the Google account real quickly. <whistles> Couldn't sign in to access your account. You must sign in on the web. So can you do that all over again and give us an authenticator code, please? All right. I do like the screen. I have to say it's it's it's, it's a good looking screen here. Just uh, in this bright light, a lot of screens get washed out. This is uh, pretty good. I'll tell you when you can go back to me. Hold on. Like the bloop. Sign in, please. Ah. <sighs> so this is the fourth time I've had to enter it because of errors on my part. Fortunately, you only have to do this once. Now you can show the screen. I have to do my uh, Google Authenticator, but no, that doesn't, that's not private. That's public. I just moved it. I'll move it back in now. Uh, 355146. 3551465. That's no good without my password, and presume I presume you do not have my password. There you go. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's actually a little too tight. <laughs> it's such a big phone, I can't get it in. There we go. All right, I'm just going to restore from my Google account. This is a nice feature of uh, Google, although it didn't work on the HTC One, but it uh, seems to have always worked on the Samsungs. It not only does it uh, restore um, my account and settings, but it uh, usually it reinstalls all my apps. Use Wi-Fi mobile network location. Let Google Apps access your location. Yes and yes. Um, I will do this later. Uh, do that later. Name the phone, which is a nice feature that uh, HTC did not do. It just gave it my last name, which wasn't a great name for the phone. So here's the key features. S-Beam, allow data exchange with device touches another device. That's not new. Air view, that's the thing where you hover over. Let's see if it's doing it. It did it on the note, but you had to use the stylus. I guess uh, it's not doing it right now. Air gesture, control your phone by making gestures with your hand. Turn that on. Voice control, hell yeah. Smart stay, looks at your eyes, and if it sees a face, it says, oh, you're looking at me. I won't go off. Smart pause, video will pause when the device detects that you're facing away. That could be annoying. S don't <laughs> smart scroll. You know, I guess I have to turn it all on, don't I? Easy mode, I will not turn on. I am using that with my mom, though, and it works quite well on the Galaxy Note, too. See, notice that? It connected to the Wi-Fi. It knew the password, so we are connected to the Wi-Fi because it detected that from my previous settings. So that's pretty cool. So I don't want the AT&T locker. Thank you. I see NFC is turned on. Wi-Fi was recognized immediately. Knows we're in Petaluma. There it is. That's the screen. It's a little bright. That's probably the default. Samsung Hub, the one-stop shop for any content you want. But an empty screen. There's Flipboard. Here's the home screen with Google Now, of course. And, be, and this is kind of cool because it knows who I am. Once I sign up, once I say OK, and this we were talking about this on the show, it does not use Now unless you say so specifically. So it's going to be a little, little tour of Google Now, not with my data, but with dummy data. And then... No, maybe later. Yes, I'm in. Now, now we'll, we'll populate with my own information. Mo 
momentarily. So these are the sample cards we can get rid of. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S4 versus HTC One and Nexus 4. Which one should you get? Giants beat the Diamondbacks. Good news. Here's stock prices. Here's the Petaluma weather. It's 80 degrees outside. So that that's an example of how because it, I sign in with my Google account, it immediately knows who I am. Uh, we're going to do some updates real quickly. It looks like it's not installing my apps. Um, oh, yes, it is. I take that back. <laughs> These are my apps. It's installing all my apps. That's nice, though. I think that's a nice feature because basically this phone, you know, in an hour or so will be ready to be uh, used just as my previous Galaxy phone. I don't follow the San Jose Sharks. So we're going to let that continue. Um, this is uh, TouchWiz, um, and it, you know, looks a lot like TouchWiz previously. Um, I, I really like it that despite the fact Google ins has told everybody, get rid of the menu button, Samsung continues to have a menu button, a back button, and a home button. This, to me, is a natural layout, and I have to say I, I'm so used to that. I really like that. Add apps and widgets, create folders, set wallpaper. Let's see what wallpapers we have in here. Uh, let's do uh, the home screen. Uh, gallery, which is probably Sam. Uh, that's my picture. Samsung. These are the Samsung wallpapers. The usual crap. And there's only a few of them. Let's go back to the uh, live wallpapers. See what they've got. Uh, this is installed by. Uh, this is mine. Bubbles and phase beam. Not a lot. In fact, uh, far fewer than uh, HTC on that. Let's go into the settings. These are the touch. This is the TouchWiz version of the Samsung settings. Big text, colorful. Um, it's interesting. Now they've got buttons up at the top here, so we can actually uh, categorize this, which they probably needed. There's so many of them. So here's connections, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, more networks, airplane mode. See how they bury that? I really dislike that. That should be a little easier to reach. Mobile networks. I can choose tethering and portable hotspot. AT&T does require you sign up for that to uh, use that. Um, NFC is on by default, and that's that weird NFC icon there, which is kind of a strange N. S-Beam, nearby devices, that's via DLNA. Screen mirroring and keys, which is Samsung's Wi-Fi sharing stuff. So that's the full thing under connections. Then my device. I kind of like this organization. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I put Nova Launch Unit on here soon, but it's not on yet. This is still uh, generic. Um, if there's anything, blocking mode, which is poorly named, is really do not disturb. Power saving mode, CPU, screen. This is nice because you can. it's a little more granular than the HTC One, which just basically it's got an on and off button. And you do. I run the HTC One in power saving all the time because I just really don't get good battery life on it. Yeah. Uh, somebody's uh, ARB, ARB1N is pointing out that if you press and hold the power button, you can choose airplane mode here. You can also control uh, sound. This is the standard touch when uh, on off. So you're right. That's a good point. You don't, you don't have to. You can do it that way. Uh, blocking mode, power saving mode, language, motions and gestures. This is where we have all that weird Samsung stuff. I'm used to the HTC One's back button being over here. It's taken me a while to get used to that. Air view. Here's the accounts page. So you can add accounts here. And then there's more. Location services, security, application, battery storage, date and time about device. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Uh, let's take a look at the camera app. What do you say? So... Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the previous. Here's Mode. Let's see what Mode gives us. Whoa. This is a new browser, kind of a cover flow style browser. Auto, automatically adjust the exposure, etc. Beauty face. Best photo. This is that feature where it will take seven, I think seven images, and then select the best, which is kind of an interesting idea. I don't, I, we're going to have to take a look at that. This is best face. So that's best photo. This is for a face, same idea, but looking for face. Let's see what it says here. Hmm, nothing. There's help info there, but not for this. Oh, there it is. Select the best picture of each person from five consecutive pictures to get the best merged group picture. The one has a feature that I was not able to get working to do the same thing. 
sound and shot in rich pictures by adding background sounds for a few seconds. So it's a still, but you get sound. Drama, take multiple pictures of a moving subject. We saw this at the Samsung launch. I should do this with you, Burke. You could move across the screen. Come here, Burke. Get your scooter. Let's, let's try a drama mode of Burke. To capture the movement of your subject across the entire screen, give them enough space to move from one side of the camera to the other. Okay, you ready? So you're going to go from there to there. Okay, ready when I say go? Okay? No, no. Oh, yeah, there's stuff in the way. Okay. Well, you want to go somewhere else where it would be easier? How about over here? How about you just walk? <laughs> How about you don't scoot? Okay, now start right over there and just walk across in, in three, two, one. Go. Faster. You nitwit. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see the picture. It's processing. <laughs> here's, here's, here's Burke walking across there. That's kind of cool. See, that's why I wanted you to go faster, because you weren't going to make it. You want to do it again? No, don't run. Just walk at a steady pace. He was doing a robot trick. Okay. Ready? Okay. Drama mode in three, two, one. Walk, 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 walk. Well, that was interesting. Let's see what we get there. Takes a little while to process. By the way, the phone is already hot. It's obviously hard work. <laughs> You know what? I would use that. That's very cool. Now, you have to have a static background, obviously, because it's going to get confused if other stuff's moving. But that's that's an interesting... Uh, let's save that. That's It's a very strange thing, but you could see if they're, you're doing an action shot. That would be interesting. Burke triplets. Let's go back into the mode. So, uh, what were else? so that was drama. Here's animated photo. Create a picture containing selected moving objects by animating parts of the picture. I have no idea. That's kind of like a Zoe, maybe? Here's HDR, whoops, HDR rich tone. Eraser lets you save the best picture after erasing moving objects from five consecutive pictures. It's gonna take a while to get used to this. There's got a pano mode, sports mode, take pictures of fast movement. These are just scenes, basically, whoops. Yeah, pano, sports, night. Auto. Okay, so th that's all of the modes there. Let's go back. Should I do something of, uh, should I should I have a picture of that guy and remove it? Should we just take a HDR here? We'll do a rich tone HDR of the, uh, of the um, thing, whatever that is. So I tap him to focus on him. Processing, processing. There, ladies and gentlemen, is a rich tone of a plastic alligator. Wow! What? Tag buddy. Weather in location with person. Date. Uh, okay, so what does that mean? I don't know what happens there. Did I did it tag it? Tag buddy? Yeah, it's a good picture. If I zoom way in... A lot of detail. Some, you know, you see some softening of, but that's not bad. Yeah, it's certainly adequate. This is a 13 megapixel camera. Um, okay, what? Else? Oops, back to the camera. What else can we do? So we did mode. We can swap the camera so you can see yourself. Hey, that's you. Looking at me. Uh, this. What is this video? No, what is that? Oh, this puts you in the picture. Okay, get ready for this weird one. Okay, watch this. So I'm going to have... I'm a lefty, so this is... I'm going to take that picture. So now I am in the picture. So let's show you what happened with that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> and I think we can choose... If I edit, I think there's different frames and... Different stuff. Okay. Mm, okay, so we have rotate, crop, color, effect, portrait, sticker. Um, I think you probably have to do brush, comic, paper. Oh, let's put some comic. Let's put some hair. Oh, was it on there? But I think that that's not for this. That's for... Um, 
I think once you've taken the picture, it's too late. We have to do it in in probably in the picture. So let's save that lovely picture. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, like you like the hair. I look like Cammy. The Kitchen S Inc. Yes, Duper. Wow, please wait. There's a lot of waiting for a fast for... See, I'm glad I got the 8-core. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I got the 8-core. Uh, oh, good. All right. Oh, my. Okay, so now my launcher is saying, okay, you installed me. You want to use me? Let's just keep using TouchWiz for a little bit longer. Go back to the camera. All right, so that's the picture in picture. Now, can I... Oh, yeah, so I can move it. Can I change? I can make it bigger. But that's the maximum right there. Um, here's different uh, oval blur. Oh, that's romantic. So let's do that. Let's have a romantic picture of me in the picture of the studio. Okay, now I did it with an oval blur, so it's much more romantic. Looks like my head's floating. <laughs> I know, you're a better photographer than I am. Stop rubbing it in. Oh, yeah, you can help me make it romantic. We'll save that for later. Uh, what does this gear do? Uh, various settings. Sharing. You can have, apparently, auto-sharing. Share shot. Buddy, photo share, chat on photo share. So I can have automatic sharing. ShareShot lets you share pictures with other devices via Wi-Fi Direct. Wow, so I could actually share this to a screen. So as I take pictures, I could see a, a full screen. Uh, very nice, very nice. That actually is, a lot of photographers do that in this studio, obviously. Um, let's see what the microphone settings are. Microphone on or off. Take pictures. Oh, Voice commands, that's what that is. So if I say smile, cheese, capture, or shoot, it'll take a picture. <laughs> Let's do it again. Smile. It took a picture. That's hysterical. It took a picture. Bob Heil. Ivan. Now, of course, it's going to still be on, and I can't remember how to turn it off, so I'm... Hey, let's see what who somebody else owned this and took a picture of. Wait a minute, that's from my camera like months ago. It went back, it's going back and taking old pictures. Oh, it's from Picasso. You're right, you're right. Never mind. Yeah, careful, she says. <laughs> Don't know what's in there. Albums, time, locations. We could do locations. Oh, that's cool. HTC One does something similar. I have to say, they've, they've loaded this up with some nice features. All right, that's enough of the camera. What else do we want to know? <laughs> Lisa, but I haven't taken any pictures of you with this phone. All right. Uh, it's still downloading, or has it already downloaded? Look at that, 1,642 new messages. Clear that. Um, I You know, I've always liked uh, Samsung's better than HTC's. This capability here is, you know, quick access to these settings is very nice. Uh, brightness I can control, you know, directly. Um, wow, now I saw, uh, okay, Bluetooth. Uh, let's, let's stop, let's stop that. I just, I'm sorry, I just paired with your, your, I just paired with your MacBook. Cancel, turn off Bluetooth. Let's turn that back off. It just started pairing automatically. Okay, this I saw this in uh, some of the reviews, and I thought, where do you get that screen? Look at this. This is some of the settings. You can actually add more. So this is kind of nice. I mean, it's not there all the time, but if you want to have direct control of a lot of settings, including airplane mode, sync, smart scroll, smart stay, driving mode, air gesture, air view, NFC, SB, multi-window, screen mirroring, this is great. I like that, you know, that that's right there. Tap that, right? And, whoops, I keep turning on Bluetooth. Damn! I don't want you, Bluetooth. Go away. And if I hit settings, what does that do? That's the regular settings. Okay. 
And if I'm in this mode, I hit the pencil, I can add more quick setting buttons. Oh, I could choose which ones are visible. Okay, that's good. I haven't, and I think it's going to be hard to try eye scrolling, but should I? All right, so I should open a browser. And let's, uh, let's open a page. Okay, here's one. See, it's looking at my eyes. Now, how do I make it go up? Oh, my God, that's creepy. Yeah, it's supposed to pause when I look away. It sees my eyes. And I turned, tilted my head up, it went up. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to use that feature. How about this? It's all enabled, but I could turn it off. Actually, I kind of like this. So I'm a Samsung, Samsung fan. I should start polishing my nails. Then we can see how it works. It is it is appreciably warm on the back. Um, this is an S4. Story album, tell your story. Welcome to Story Album. Create albums containing your special moments and keep them in one place. Your digital picture albums can be published as a hard copy photo book. Wow, straight from my phone to a, from phone to book. Let's uh, create an album from gallery. <laughs> Let's select this and this and this and this. Done. Here's my album. Create that album. So here's an album that I made, 430. That's kind of nice. <laughs> just with the pictures I just took. I don't. I won't do a battery test until we've done a full charge. And uh, so I'm gonna. I guess I'll always launch Tell Judge Wiz, and I can just go back and fix that later. Until we get a full charge on it, and. Um, You know, because you can't tech test a battery in the first day or two. Walking mate, keep track of how many steps you take each day. Well, that sounds cool. Do I need to wear anything? I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay, good. I agreed to all of those. I don't even know. Okay, I put, so let's put in my name. Oh, what? <laughs> what did that just say? Okay, it said something and I accidentally clicked. Okay, I'm male. My birth date is not April 29th. This is going to take a while. God, this is, I'm old. Okay, so it says, I should use 2,779 calories to maintain my current weight. <laughs> oh, no, that's how I should eat. Well, what if I don't want to maintain my... Okay, fine. Done. So now it's going to count my steps just from the phone? Oh, look at this. This is neat. So I can use this as a diary. Comfort level, so it can... This is why it measures humidity and temperature. Do not touch the device. Adjust comfort range. So that's my comfort range and temperature and my comfort range and humidity. <laughs> What's it going <laughs> to... Oh, I'm not comfortable. My phone says I'm not comfortable. But the humidity is okay right now. That's cool. I don't know if it's useful... Okay, that's my comfort level. How much? I should get 10,000 steps. So I guess you have to start it when you start walking. And then it shows you this. I like that. That was with no additional hardware. So uh, gallery. Let's uh, let's set up the maps. 
I'm all, my phone says I'm sweaty. That's right, Dr. Mom. Uh, that's the outdoor temperature, not the indoor temperature. And I believe it is accurate. You want to try the YouTube playing look away thing? Okay, let's get YouTube. By the way, it's already installed all my apps, which I, I just love that feature. See, tapped out. I could log right in. I could start killing snakes. The one didn't do it for reasons I don't understand fully. This is my experience has always been with Samsung. Um, so it's going to see, okay, I'm going to watch this. And if I look away, it'll stop playing. Okay. Let's, 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 uh, let's play this video and I'm looking away. Uh, maybe it doesn't have my eyes. Okay. Now it's got my eyes. I'm not looking. Wow. Looking again. Oh, my God. Not looking. Looking. Wow. Yes, you can turn that off. I actually was going to. It's off by default, and I turned it on just so we could show it. Okay, that's bizarre. Right. I don't know if that's useful in any regard, but now watch. I can look up and down. It'll scroll. No. It's an app. Maybe it only works in the browser. I don't know, but I have Chrome on here, of course. Oh, you think that was a mistake? Mm, I don't think it's seeing anything. Let's look at the browser. Because it was seemed to be doing that. See, I think it's the browser feature. You have to move your head. <laughs> that is so that is so weird. <laughs> that is just so strange. If I tilt okay, I'm tilting my head down, tilting my head up. Tilting my head. Yeah, it's all right. You don't need it. I, tilting my head down. That is just weird. Okay, now you got a shot. Ready? You want to do a split screen tilting my head down? Yeah, so that won't work. Wow. Wait a minute. Demi Moore was reunited? What? Demi Moore reunited with daughter Rumor Willis at yoga class. Boy, there's a lot of crap on the internet. See, I'm looking down. I'm looking up. Looking down. Oh, you, I'm not. You have to keep looking at the screen. It's actually watching your eyes. I really don't see a use for this, except for people who don't have use of their hands. I know, but I, I'm moving it up. I should be looking. <laughs> this is so stupid. It shows a big eyeball on the screen, which is kind of ridiculous. Wait a minute. Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher to reunite? Scroll back. Scroll back. So apparently, rumor was upset that Demi broke up with Ashton. I'm getting a headache doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> but that, you know, it's a gimmicky feature. The phone is fairly warm, very much like the uh, HTC One. Um, yeah. What do I? What do you want me to do? Um, okay, but there's, I should be able to use this, let's see, maybe in the camera, I should be able to hover my finger over controls and it would say things. Uh, 
No. Now I'm recording. I don't want to record. Stop. Stop recording. Why are you recording a table with your face in it? Yeah, I mean, as as most of us thought, everything's turned on. I turned it on when I when I started the using it. As most of us thought, a lot of this stuff is just kind of gimmicky, silly crapware. Uh, gestures, motions and gestures. Air gesture. Control your phone by making specific gestures with your hand above the sensor. Maybe it'll explain what those are. When the screen is off, reach toward you. I actually like quick glance, and that was on before. Air jump. Scroll web pages and screen size jumps. Air browse. Air move. Air call accept. Wave your hand over the screen to accept incoming calls. That's a very bad idea. The air gesture sensor is positioned at the top right above the screen. The sensor can recognize your gestures from a distance of under three inches at normal speed. When air gestures are available, a little hand icon will appear on the status bar at the top of the screen. So maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not. No, I don't, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, that's air gesture for air heads. Here's motion, direct call, call contact. Oh, that's when you, this is actually cool. If you have a contact on the phone and you put it to your ear, it'll dial them. Zoom in or out of the screen when in gallery. Browse an image. Okay, I don't care about that stuff. Palm motion. Capture screen. Yeah, see, I have that on mine. Remember I did that the other day? Where you go like this. It takes a screenshot. Mute pause by covering the screen with your hand while playing media with a screen on. God, it's hot. Let's calibrate the gyroscope. Place device on a level surface and tap calibrate. Three, two, one. Do not move device. It's calibrated. Well, that was easy. All right. I hope this table's level. Probably not since I sat on it. Uh, okay, well, there you go. That's our unboxing of the Galaxy S4.